The following video is a clip from the one listed here. A link to the full video will be included at the end of this one, and also as the pinned comment to this video. Since DeSantis became governor, Nazi groups have increased their public organizing in Florida. This includes, but is not necessarily limited, to the following cases. In January 2022, along a highway bridge and at a shopping plaza, each in Orlando, a group of Nazis displayed signage for their ideology and pushed anti-Semitic rhetoric. DeSantis would condemn this event, but only after it was falsely speculated the participants were part of some sort of conspiracy by Democratic Party activists by Press Secretary Christina Pushaw. You look like a trout. That same month, David Neustadt, a Jewish man, was assaulted by a group of at least three Nazis who would be arrested for what they did. In July 2022, neo-Nazis organized outside of the Tampa Convention Center, where Turning Point USA, itself a white supremacist organization, was holding an event that included DeSantis as a speaker. In February 2023, a Nazi group harassed Jewish people at a community center in Orlando and also organized outside of Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, which included projecting praise for longest-serving Chancellor of Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler. In June 2023, the neo-Nazi group The Order of the Black Sun held an event outside of Walt Disney World in Orlando. That same month, the Nazi group held an event in Lakeland at Explorations 5 Children's Museum where they carried flags for their ideology and stated in opposition to President Joe Biden. In September 2023, in Orlando, members of the neo-Nazi groups the Aryan Freedom Network, the 14 First, and once again the Order of the Black Sun held a rally where they voiced their hatred for Jewish, LGBTQ, and non-white people. With the exception of the first incident listed, none of these were denounced by DeSantis, his administration, and or his political campaign. The most infamous case of Nazi organizing in Florida under DeSantis would come on August 26, 2023. That day, domestic terrorists began shooting inside of a Dollar General store in Jacksonville. Unfortunately, three people were killed in the attack, which was determined to be done in the name of white supremacy. Additionally, the shooter had Nazi symbols on their weaponry. After having pushed white supremacy and a hatred of black people, DeSantis appeared at a memorial event for the victims of the Jacksonville attack, where he was met with a negative reaction. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is here. We're going to ask the governor if he would come now and turn the mic. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis Following the murders, something that various reactionary figures said was that DeSantis himself was a victim in connection to the attack by taking issue with it being pointed out that he pushed the white supremacist ideology that the terrorist had a more extreme version of. You may have noticed that none of the people I've shown actually say how the characterization of DeSantis's hatred for black people is wrong. They just complain about something negative being said about a political ally. Quite frankly, I find it disgusting to say that a victim of murders done with a motivation of white supremacy is a person who, in connection to the attack, was only criticized for pushing a less extreme form of white supremacy.